Hey guys, and welcome to the bonus episode of Marvel Tuesday, where I didn't have the time to talk about, uh, where I uh, got an up, but I don't have the time to talk about Cap, uh, sorry, Falcon and Winter Soldier, that my thoughts, is it was really heavy, heavy on spoilers. What? Here's a spoiler-free thought for... And again, if you guys haven't seen the, uh, if you guys haven't seen the episode of, uh, the episode of Falcon and Winter Soldier, Power Broker, I forgot to mention that, that there is a, <sighs> mention of the Power Broker, but at least. But hey, at least we got, uh, uh, then hey, at least we got a return of, uh, of a MCU villain, the one of you who lived. Because we got the other, uh, characters who was uh, dying for a warmonger to, uh, Sorry, that was the, uh, that was the show, and I can't believe that one worked, but, uh, but, yeah, but, yeah, it was Return of the Villain, who, of course, would be joining his adversaries, the Falcon and the of Sam Wilson, a.k.a. Falcon, and James Barnes, a.k.a. Bucky, FKA, the Winter Soldier, and a.k.a. Grey Wolf. And yes, there are like Four MCU connections that mentioned, like from the Captain America trilogy to the Black Panther. But I can say, but if you guys did see the episode of the the full on review, it's on there. And of course, I'm gonna get my thoughts on the episode with my. My thoughts on the episode is none other than I'm going to say it's welcome to, uh, you know. But this episode is really amazing. And yeah. So, yeah, it's just, you know, go back to the, uh, I went back to the topics and then the, the go to the review. Because, you know, to end the episode. Normally, I would have the episodes ready. I would have the episodes ready normally. After the review, but... You know, the topics? But... But I miss doing the topics. And, of course... Doing some, uh... Star Wars and uh, Marvel and uh, is he but March Mayhem? It was a total mayhem with the uh, South Park, you know, desperately trying to get the vaccine, but it's up to you know the boys and the Snyder Cut, and of course, finish it out with the WandaVision with the uh, WandaVision. Part of March Mayhem. And starting out with Falcon and Winter Soldier with the first two episodes. New World Order, which I uh, had the New World Order joke. And of course, in a parody of Hulk Hogan's 
breaking the fourth wall. You know, breaking the fourth wall. But he was watching Gremlins too. They're talking to the movie audience. It, you know, there was apologies. And the second one with uh, Star Spangled Man. Where, of course, John Walker is played by Wyatt Russell, who I discuss on the topic knowing, knowingly, he will dislike his Captain America, however. Sorry, all right. He knew we were going to dislike Captain America, and yeah, I'm, I'm one, one in a few. But, I watch episode 3, and you can see, he didn't get a bunch of screen time, but, but I'm glad, because it takes the focus away from, from Sam and Bucky. Again, I'm keeping this spoiler free. But yeah, like I said, give me the valve or give me the spoiler free. So I mean, we got, we got, you know, so excellent screen time. But even though I'm not looking forward to doing The Last of Us, and review with the Mando star. Pedro Pascal, who would have gotten the ultimatum, but instead gave it to Gina Carano. Oh, you know, undeservingly. She undeservingly got the punishment, but, you know. But I'll be the next Wednesday Unleashed, where I go into rant mode. But I got the Wednesday Wagon topics ready. And again, if there's a high republic, you can skip to the next topic, you know? I mean, I mean you guys don't have to hear what I say, but it's not me defending the high republic. It's uh me, you know, giving my opinions on the one one of the books, but also it, it, you know. Not because I'm doing this because I love Star Wars. I'm I'm doing this because you know it's my it's a podcast. It's my job, but it's not me. You know, telling you for telling you guys to like the High Republic. It's just this. But even though I would go off topic, and of course I wouldn't be afraid to go off topic. I gotta stay on topic, but. But for Marvel, I will talk about the uh, the uh, one with the dislikes, the dislike ratio, but uh, not, you know, the dislike ratio. But, however, not because I don't like to see the bunch of dislikes, but I'm just going to get my opinion on that set video. But, you know, like I say, it's not a, you know, not going to be me defending that comic. It's just I have some things to say, but not to you guys. But the, but uh, not about the dislike or the like and dislike ratio. But for the uh, for the uh, reason. So next time. So next time, guys, we'll uh, we'll talk about that. But, yeah. But for now, I just want to focus on Falcon and Winter Soldier. So, yeah. The film, has, sorry, the episode has a connection within the uh, Marvel Cinematic Universe with those films. With, uh, you know, the trilogy and, of course, the return of the villain. From Captain America Civil War. And of course there's an excellent, you know, con you know, 
classic representation, just like in the comic. You know, that same comic, however. But however, it's been years since I've talked about Captain America Civil War. But we all know what had happened because the Starks, Howard and his wife, became the first victim of the Winter Soldier. You know? By bashing the head. By bashing the head into the tree stone. Which is Howard's demise, and of course, and of course, strangling, and of course, strangling uh, Howard's wife, however, uh, Tony Stark's mother, you know, make it look like they died in a tragic accident, but even though it was, it was on the, his kill list. And yes, the different demise we're going to be all about where Sebo in the comics had killed Steve Rogers, Captain America. But, however, in the film, let's see, both of them had lived. Sebo tried to kill himself, but stopped by T'Challa. Prince T'Challa. Of course, it was the son of King T'Chaka, the First Black Panther until he was assassinated during the assembly. I'm talking about Kate Tachaka and of course Sebo, the one who killed who killed Steve Rogers in a comic, but of course sorry, he's alive and Steve Rogers on the run, but he was alive. And both Iron Man and Captain America lost. You know, because As, let's see, Cap lost his shield while Stark just said that that shield was his father's and told him he don't deserve it. But yeah. Alright, guys. That's going to do about it for this review of uh, Falcon and Winter Soldier. I really enjoyed it. So, so that's going to do about it. And I'll see you guys next time.